Hey there, gamer. Are you in the mood for a pretty good action platformer? If so, your wish has been granted. They finally came out with Battletoads 2, the ribbiting? What? No. I'm reviewing Shantae, half-genie hero. They're never coming out with Battletoads 2. I'm giving my spoiler-free review right now. Half-Genie Hero is fun and colorful, with lots of neat abilities and places to discover. However, the game's plot is a hot mess, the difficulty curve is all over the place, and it makes some questionable gameplay choices. But still, I give Shantae Half-Genie Hero a 4 out of 5. Alright, spoilers start now. I'm starting off with the gameplay. Half-Genie Hero is a hybrid of classic action platformers like Mario or Mega Man, and the Metroidvania style and I don't really think they get the best of both worlds. The game's six levels are fairly small, and with a little perseverance and exploration, you'll easily score all of the trinkets in the game's treasure chest. On the other side of it, the game's platforming sections are easily the most difficult part. But there aren't that many of them, so you never get a chance to really hone your platforming skills. Oh, Private, was the big bad platform too difficult for you? No! I just would have liked more time to get used to the controls. Yeah. Neither the exploration or the platforming is really good or really bad, it's all just okay. Now Shantae has a wide assortment of powers and abilities to help her navigate the world and defeat enemies. First off, there's Shantae's trademark dances. Most of these are transformations, like her just as useful as it is adorable monkey form. All the way to the so situational it's practically useless yet still somehow cute spider form. But there are non-transformation dances, like the healing dance or the AoE damage dance. The only thing that differentiates these from regular spells are that you select them in a different menu. Most of the regular spells are pretty handy, and they can get out and out broken, especially the invincibility shield. But Shantae's primary weapon is her hair whip attack. Hair powers are stupid. Every once in a while, you'll need to change your tactics for some enemy. Or they may react differently to your attacks. Like the electric bats that shock you if you try and whip them. Or some guys will drop special items if you hit them with fire. But mostly just attack with whatever that'll work fine. And sadly, that applies to bosses as well. By far, the best boss fight is a giant mermaid. She requires that you move around and use the few early game powers that you have effectively. The worst boss is phase two of the final boss. It's this giant robot brain that only reveals his weak point if you run in a specific direction long enough. Although if not for that strange mechanic, the fight wouldn't be very challenging at all. Speaking of, the difficulty curve is all over the place. Like I said, the hardest part is the platforming. The timing is just really precise, and falling is an insta-kill. But once you get Shantae's harpy form, you can just blow past everything. The final level is basically a cakewalk. Most of the airborne obstacles are no big deal. Oh, and Shantae's mermaid form is basically the boss of a bullet hell shooter. And that's a bad thing, why? Now let's look at the art and sound. This is where the game shines. Half-Genie Hero looks fantastic. The colorful cartoon art style oozes with personality and playfulness. All of the characters and enemies have great animations when moving or standing still. And the worlds you go through are equally boisterous and detailed. Sound-wise, the music is all fantastic, especially the game's theme song, Dance Through the Darkness. But the other music is also energetic and upbeat. My only problem with both is that there's not more of it. On the visual end, Half-Genie Hero would look great with some animated cutscenes, as it already feels like you're playing a cartoon. And there's some very limited voice acting. Saying one word in every dozen lines of dialogue is more than limited. Well, what little there is is good stuff. Shantae sounds appropriately sweet and playful. And her nemesis, Risky Boots, sounds like Jesse from Pokemon. In short, perfect. Finally, let's look at the story. The game kind of missteps here. The world is populated by loads of charming and likable characters like Shantae's bestie and transportation provider, Sky, the freeloading zombie, Roddy Tops, as well as a mini rogues gallery of evil barons, like Hypno Baron and Ammo Baron, along with his hench girls, Twitch and Vinegar. On top of that, the script is full of good-natured humor, kind of like Ruby or Friendship is Magic. But it's all strung together with these clunky, episode-esque levels. Each one feels like a story unto itself, and they're all connected via a story about some mechanical device. It's actually a plot device. Being built by Shantae's uncle. 
Oh, and the game keeps undercutting its dramatic stakes by constantly reminding us that it's a video game. For the life of me, I don't understand why people do this in any medium. Now I know, for example, the Looney Tunes can break the fourth wall all the time. But there are no dramatic stakes in Looney Tunes, are there? And I can count on one hand the number of times being invested in a story and fourth wall breaking have gone together. And Half Genie Hero is not one of them. Okay, now let's break down the good and the bad in Shantae, Half Genie Hero. On the good side, Shantae is a fun, likable heroine with a lot of neat powers on an exciting adventure with charming friends. The worlds are enjoyable to explore, with treasure hidden under almost every rock, and the art and sound are clearly a labor of love. On the downside, they split the difference between platformer and metroidvania and end up in an uncomfortable middle. The story is clunky because of its episodic structure, and the difficulty curve fluctuates wildly between frustrating and too easy. But I'm still going to highly recommend Shantae Half Genie Hero for anyone who enjoys colorful platformers or retro style games. Now if you are interested in more reviews of anime, movies, TV shows, comic books, or video games, check out my channel on YouTube at StupidPrivate913, or find my Facebook and DeviantArt pages for video updates and more. Thank you for watching. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.